Welcome to Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking features delicious recipes and cooking tips from the Gulf Coast's finest chefs and restaurants. Watch as popular local chefs prepare their special dishes with natural gas. Coastal Cooking is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, provider of clean, efficient, natural gas. Our featured restaurant today is the Leisure Club, and joining me is owner Matt Barnhill. Welcome, Matt. Hey, thanks for having me. It's so good to have you and some of your wonderful food here today. Tell us what's on the menu. Well, today we're going to do some tomato basil to start out with, tomato basil soup that we have on the menu every day. Um, we're going to do a salad and a panini. It's the uh, stone fruit salad, and then we do a French brie press. Um, and then we'll also do some something from the breakfast and the brunch menu. It's a garden frittata. So mm. we'll have a little bit of breakfast and lunch items. Yes, I love it because you're open just for breakfast and lunch. Yeah, we're open every day from, <clears throat> well, not every day. We recently started closing on Monday so I could have mm -hmm. a day off. That's good. And um, so it's Tuesday through Friday from 7 in the morning to um, 5. Mm -hmm. And then on the weekends, it's from 9 to 4. Good, good deal. So we're all ready for our tomato soup dish, right? Yeah, all right. And this is a super easy recipe that even kids like. We sell a ton of this every day. This is one of your most popular soups, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We do a soup du jour, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, it sells good, but not nothing ever sells as good as this yeah. tomato basil here. And you just are going to dice up the onions in no particular way. You can just big chunks here because all you're going to do is saute it till they're a little uh -huh. tender. Okay. And, um, the start of many a good dish and soup, especially, isn't it? Garlic, olive oil, and onions. Mm -hmm. I usually do one of each, a red, one red, mm -hmm. and then one yellow onion. Does it give it a different taste, the different well, onions? Well, I feel like it does. I do, too. I do, too. Could just be in my mind, but mm -hmm. I like having the red one in there. Well, this one gives such color to dishes, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And then basically that, and then I'm gonna use just about, I don't know, a good little handful of some fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. Smash those. Isn't that an easy way to do that? Yeah, especially with a knife like this, with the little uh -huh. ridges, it doesn't slip out on and you. And this is a good way to even peel the skin off. Mm -hmm. Isn't it, just to mash it yeah, and it peels luckily very Luckily I have easily. these with all the skin already off. But. Mm -hmm. So this is going to cook, Matt, and then after they get sautéed very well, then you are going to come back with an emulsifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a little immersion blender. Okay, and um, add some cream. Yeah, get everything we'll put well the blended. tomatoes in there, and then we'll put about five cups of water in there, and the basil and the seasoning, and let mm -hmm. that simmer for about 30 minutes, and then you're just going to put the cream in. and. And blend it up. Mm -hmm. We'll be good to go. Yep. While this sautés for a minute, let's talk about Leisure Club. Tell us the history behind it and where the name came from. Well, um, the Leisure Club was started by my sister-in-law that we recently, as of June 1st, we bought it from her. And uh, we've been here, I've been with the Leisure Club since the beginning when we opened downtown in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, we helped her, you know, put the floor in, paint the walls, all kinds of stuff. So I worked down there and then we did really good downtown for about four years, but we had a chance to move to a different location. It was bigger. Um, we had an option to put a drive through in there. So we moved there and business has been even better. And you are on 12th Avenue, yep. right behind Bonefish Grill? Yeah, if you turn into Bonefish Grill's parking lot, you'll see us right behind there. We have a big uh, yellow marquee, and it says coffee bar on it. Uh -huh. so and you that's are, and you're known go. for as a coffee bar, aren't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, that's what I like to think of us first as being a coffee bar and a restaurant because we serve really the best coffee in town. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Intelligentsia Coffee. It's all fresh roasted. We um, get ours in every Friday, and it's roasted for us by Intelligentsia on Tuesdays, so it's always within just mm. a few days of being roasted. 
you know, we do the lattes with the latte art and all espresso drinks and, you know, just really good fresh cups of coffee. Yeah. Nobody needs just a plain cup of coffee anymore, do they? So many no, choices. No, not really. But we we do have that, and that's really, that's mm -hmm. about all I drink is the... Just the plain. Just a regular, well, like, you, house blend of coffee and a espresso shot. Yeah. Yeah. I have to have that every day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we're so glad that uh, you and your wife, Lee, mm -hmm. are kind of the co-owners and uh, run Leisure Club and a lot of your... Uh, Patrons from downtown have followed you to your new location. Yeah, definitely. There's um, definitely have a bigger crowd of regulars, mm -hmm. I'd say, at this location. And the drive-through is keeps them coming, actually. And that is so convenient. Mm -hmm. You know, for coffee or whatever, you've got pastries and yeah, and we're gonna try everything. to expand the food offerings in the drive-through mm -hmm. too. So we have a few things on the menu, but I really want to get that down to where because there's nowhere around town in Pensacola you can drive through and get. You know, real good food. Mm -hmm. It's not fast food and a drive-through. Yeah. So yeah, I'll start doing that soon. It's a good feature. Good mm -hmm. feature to have. We're going to let this saute a little bit. When we come back from commercial break, we're going to add tomatoes and uh, yep. the cream and, the basil and everything, and the seasonings, and, and and have a finished product. Mm -hmm. Okay, sound good? Yep. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back after these messages. Local home builders are seeing greater demand for natural gas. Here's what they have to say. The comments that I've heard from the customers who've had the all-electric homes and moved to a natural gas home are the convenience and ease. Being able to turn their stove on and get that heating just right. And of course, something like the tankless, which would give them the endless hot water. So there is a convenience level that comes with gas. And I think, I can't, you know, I want to say comfort. There's a comfort level that comes from having natural gas in your home. Pensacola Energy. Go blue and save green. Cooking with natural gas is more controlled than using an electric range. But more importantly, they're less expensive to operate. Don't get burned with electric. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Natural gas homes are in demand. Here's what home builders have to say. I would say majority of the of our homeowners that come in and talk to us and see us, that is one of the first items that gets brought up would be natural gas. A lot of our customers are on the energy efficiency side. There's really no way you can argue the efficiency of gas over power in my opinion. That is a very, very big selling point in our houses is natural gas. Go blue and save green with natural gas from Pensacola Energy. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Welcome back. We are finishing up our tomato basil soup. And for TV time, tell us what you've already done, Matt. Well, we added the can of the crushed tomatoes and the water, about four cups of water, and then a cup of wine, white wine. Okay. It really doesn't, any, we, we, we use Chardonnay, but it mm -hmm. can be any, any kind of white wine. And after you add that, how long do you continue to let it cook? Um, I'll usually let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And um, then add, you're gonna add your, this is a little cayenne, you don't wanna use too much. Mm -hmm. So approximately a tablespoon. And then I have a little salt and pepper mixture here. I'm just gonna add a little more than a tablespoon for that. I'm putting that in there. And then you're gonna use fresh basil. Oh. You always use fresh basil as the key. That's what makes it taste so good and fresh. It does. Um, so you can just throw those in their hole. And so now we're gonna add our cream and um, a half a quart of cream, heavy cream. Mm -hmm. And then... Now comes the fun part. Yep. Now you just grab an immersion blender. I guess if you didn't have one of these, you could always use a regular blender. I've mm -hmm. seen people do that pour it out into a blender, but this makes it a lot easier. It sure does. Just blend that up. All right, we have all of our, um, the water and the wine and the seasonings. That looks so good. And speaking of the wine, we do a happy hour at the Leisure Club. It's uh, from three to five, it's half off all beer and wine. A lot of people don't know that we even carry beer and wine and we do other additional food items mm -hmm. um, during and, that time specials. And you also serve lunch until five. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, our lunch goes starts at 11 and goes all the way till 5. Perfect. And on the happy hour menu, we have cheese boards and mm -hmm. other, you know, appetizers, a trio with hummus and all tapenade and all kinds of good stuff. Oh, man, that. that looks so good. And then just top it off with a little bit of fresh basil. There you have it, tomato, tomato basil. basil soup mm -hmm. from the Leisure Club. Yep. Perfect. Well, we're ready to start uh, one of your special breakfast and brunch items, the vet garden. Yeah, the garden frittata. frittata. That is on our breakfast menu every day, and it's mm -hmm. on our brunch menu. We do it on oh. the weekends. We do a brunch trio. Mm -hmm. I just need to add about four more eggs. We do a brunch trio. It comes with a side of fruit or potatoes, and mm -hmm. then you can Pick any of the other sides, like such as the frittata that we're making here, and then we have biscuits and gravy at Toad in the Hole, which is a poached egg. On a cheddar jalapeno bagel, we have uh, fruit and granola parfaits. We have, there's a quinoa cobbler. It's a vegetarian dish. Ooh, that sounds good. It's got a, like a cayenne maple sauce on it with some almonds. Mm. So now for the potato, you're going to crack the 16 eggs in there and whisk those up really good. And that, you've got the best brunch deal in town. Yeah, for $12, it really is hard to beat. With, you can uh, pick six. any three items yep. on your list. You can add more to that if you're extra hungry. We have really good waffles. We do Belgian waffles that are, we go through a lot of waffles. Yeah. And, and you also have uh, mimosas. Bottomless mimosas for six dollars. We do uh, sake bloody marys. Sake bloody marys. Mm -hmm. Those are really delicious. It's just basically bloody mary with sake <laughs> instead of the you know, the liquor. Yeah, that does sound good. All right, so got that mixed up. Right. The pan for the frittata. Mm -hmm. Now this will cook in the oven, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yep, we'll cook that in the oven for. About 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Till the two. eggs are set. Mm -hmm. uh, about two cups of cheese. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna cut up some squash and zucchini real quick. You know what I love about a frittata? You know, the sky's the limit on the ingredients. Oh yeah, right? we, yeah, you can put anything in it. This is just our Kind of the one, the traditional one with squash and zucchini. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some portobello mushrooms and some roasted red peppers in there. And we do another one, uh, it's an egg white frittata. So it's a little lower on the calories, but it also has little goat cheese and spinach, tomatoes, and Ooh, roasted garlic in it. That one's become pretty popular. Mm. We'll put a little. But especially in the summertime, gosh, you could just put all kind of good vegetables in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to do about a, maybe like three quarters of a squash and mm -hmm. three quarters of a zucchini. Really as much as you want. That's right. To taste, right? Mm-hmm. And so. you can mix up your cheeses, use different flavors. Yep. And then we're just going to pour the eggs. And you, are you adding mushroom to this, or is that... I'll use it, I'll layer that on the top. Oh, okay. And then you add a half a cup of heavy cream in with the eggs, which the egg white frittata does not have, so. Okay. That's why it's mm -hmm. a little less on the calories. Let's set that there. So this is a popular item on the brunch menu. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it's on the breakfast menu too. We have a, mm -hmm. from Monday through Friday, the breakfast is a little bit different. Um, then the brunch menu, we do some stuff. We do a breakfast wrap with homemade pimento cheese. I mean, we make everything in our kitchen from scratch. So we have a breakfast wrap. It's got sausage, pimento cheese. I'm just gonna move this a little closer here. Homemade pimento cheese. Mm -hmm. mm. Sounds so good. Yeah, it goes good with, in that breakfast wrap with the eggs and the sausage and... Matt, can you make this the night before? Yeah, or that's Or is it better easy. to go ahead and cook it? Yep, 
that's really the, that's what we have to do at the store for we prep up a bunch of these the night before mm -hmm. brunch and they're cooked throughout brunch because we go so many mm -hmm. through so many of them but um but that's nice to have it all prepared and then mm -hmm. all you have to do is bake it the next morning for breakfast or yeah. brunch Let me make just a tad bit of room here for mm -hmm. the and these mushrooms you can just put those on there raw too that's right everything will bake just kind of yep just kind of want to dip it into the egg a little bit. So it's mm -hmm. got a little bit of liquid on it so it doesn't dry up too bad. Just put some of those in there. This is going to be a very filling dish, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Do that. Some of the roasted red peppers. Mm -hmm. Just kind of, you know, kind of like decorating. Right. Decorating a pie or a cake or something. Mm -hmm. Do you add any herbs to this? I mean, you could. Um, yeah, you could. You can, I mean, you can add anything. I just add the, we're going to top it with a little paprika. Mm -hmm. So that's about good on that. And now let's see what I do with my paprika. Here it is. I'll just sort of sprinkle a little of that on top. And how long would this take to cook? Um, usually I'll set a timer for about 35 or 40 minutes. It seems mm -hmm. it varies depending on the oven, but it takes about 40, 45 minutes if, with your oven being set mm -hmm. at 350. And of course you just, you're waiting for your eggs to, to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll be able to mm -hmm. tell once it's in the oven, just kind of shake it around a little bit. And if mm -hmm. it seems firm, it's going to be ready to go. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And we can... Put it in the oven, put this right? in the oven, yeah. Absolutely. We're going to take a commercial break here. We've got one more dish from the Leisure Club, so stay with us. Natural gas homes are in demand. Here's what home builders have to say. We started KW Homes in 1987, and we've been building custom homes in the area since, since then. A lot of our customers are asking for natural gas. Um, I went with it in my personal home. Uh, I especially like the tankless water heater. Uh, when we have family over, we don't run out of hot water, which is great. Um, just keeps on making it as long as we need it, which is, which is really nice. Pensacola Energy. Go blue and save green. Natural gas dryers may cost a little more than electric ones, but they dry clothes quicker, making them cost half as much to run. So now who's getting taken to the cleaners? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. We are ready to start some of the Leisure Club special salad and yep. paninis. We're going to do a stone fruit salad, and then we're going to do our one of our newest sandwiches, a French Brie Press. Um, we're going to do the vegetarian option of that as well as the one um, with the bacon. Perfect. So all I'm going to do right now is just, this is a little dressing that we make there at the Leisure Club. It's a honey balsamic vinaigrette. And I get that heating up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. While that's going, I'm just going to cut a few wedges of each of these pieces of fruit here. So you've got pear? Yep. A couple different pears just for Peach. color. And um, peaches. Sometimes we have plums. It just kind of depends on what we have. But it's always a combination of peaches, pears, and plums if we have them. Mm -hmm. Whatever is the most in season is what sure. will go on there. And we sell a lot of these. are really good. I it's bet uh, you do. simmering in a dressing with balsamic reduction, um, honey, red wine, and um, what else is in there? Olive oil. Okay. And that's just a little dressing mixed up mm -hmm. right there. So you just let these get a little... Yeah, just brown these a little, a little bit. Kind of just get a little bit of color on there. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, I like to add a little bit more of this balsamic reduction just for color. Get that caramelized looking color on mm -hmm. there. And so while those are there, turn that up just a little bit. And then in this one, we're going to use spinach. Okay. So we get... Pretty good bit of spinach on there. Super healthy. And we here. have other salads. We have one that's just called the TLC salad. Um, you can add meat to these two. A lot of people mm -hmm. get uh, the chicken with this one. What's on the TLC salad? The TLC salad is going to have goat cheese, tomatoes, um, sunflower seeds, 
and it's going to have the balsamic reduction on top. And then we do a caprese salad, which is the tomatoes and the fresh mozzarella with the balsamic reduction. Mm -hmm. So those are our three main salads. And what type of cheese is this, man? This is a feta. Feta, okay. All right. And then that right there. So this is really, all you're doing is just sort of heating it up. Mm -hmm. Get a little saute on each side there. Super healthy here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And it's going to get dressed with some uh, sunflower seeds? Yep, some sunflower seeds and a little balsamic reduction swirl on the oh, top. Oh, yeah. Simple and Matt, delicious. We, we need to mention that you come from a restaurant family. Mm-hmm. My mom and dad, um, years ago, probably at least 20 years ago now, started the Barn Hills Country Buffet. Mm-hmm. So well that's, known in Pensacola. Yeah, I never thought I'd be in the restaurant business, but here I am owning one. So. I think it's in your blood. Yeah. You think? <laughs> I guess so, because I used to be against the idea of working in the restaurant, even though I did. I served yeah. and cooked and was did always there. Everything, grew huh? up there, yeah. I grew up playing Nintendo and the beanbag on beanbags and office and stuff. Oh, so. my goodness. But I love it. That's. That's why I do it. Sure. Well, look at your creations. I mean, we all love it too. So we're glad you're glad you're in the business. So now you just place these on there. Oh, look how pretty this is going to be. So you could add a protein to this. Could mm -hmm. you have a complete meal? Yeah, most people We'll add chicken to it. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have a chicken salad. It's a sesame chicken salad. Mm -hmm. That is really good. It has mm. a sesame oil in it. It's kind of the secret ingredient, secret ingredient that makes it flavors. Just amazing. All right. And really, that's about it. I might as well put all these on there. Mm -hmm. And our sesame seeds, and that's it, huh? Yeah. And the dressing. The, yeah, some of our seeds and the dressing. What type of dressing did you um, pick for this? The dressing is the honey balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, the same one that the vegetables. I mean, yeah, the, the same one that those simmer in. in. Okay. And then you just kind of top it off with this. This is sort of just a little balsamic reduction for. Add a little, kind of oh, makes it, that is beautiful. Just finishes it off. And it is panini time. Oh yeah. You've got some uh, whole wheat bread. Yep, some, uh, it's wheat berry bread. Okay. And um, we have, this is one of the newer paninis. It's really good. It's got kind of the sweet and salty thing going on. Mm -hmm. It's got some fig preserves. Um, I think this is going to be one of my favorites. Bacon and a French favorites. brie. It is really good. We do, uh, we have lots of paninis on the menu. Um, <clears throat> some of the more popular ones we do uh Raging Cajun, which is a Cajun-style turkey with bacon, cheese, um, sautéed onions, and roasted red peppers. Mm. We do, probably the most popular one is going to be the Pesto Chicken Press, which is another new one on the menu. Um, and that one's got our homemade pesto mayonnaise that we make in-house. We make all the sauces at the Leisure Club. Pesto and Yeah, it's got um, fresh pesto and mayonnaise basically mixed up together and that mm -hmm. goes on. It's got the chicken and tomatoes, red onions. Ooh, that sounds good too. And that one's pressed. We do a few cold sandwiches as well. And this one we're gonna do, typically if you order this, it would have the bacon on it, but this is the vegetarian option with the mm -hmm. same stone fruit that we just put on that salad. Perfect. The pears and the peaches. So we do lots of, we try to cater to Vegetarian, we do have a few mm -hmm. vegan options as well. We do uh, another sandwich that is really popular is the caprese. It's, I mean, the caprese, it's pretty much the caprese salad, but on bread. Mm -hmm. It's just like simple little gourmet grilled cheeses, you could call them. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. And this one will have bacon? Yep, and we'll do bacon on this one. Super simple. But super delicious but super, with all these yep. flavors. OK. 
Okay. Put about four or five pieces of bacon on there. Mm-hmm. And our other piece of bread. Another piece of bread. And we're going to throw them in the press. And I love the little panini press. This yep. is perfect for home, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one that actually came from my house, but we have a big one at the restaurant that holds a lot more. We're While just going these... to push that down a little bit. And then... Okay. While these cook, I'm going to give everyone our telephone number. If you would like written copies of today's recipes, you can call Pensacola Energy at 436-5050. Or you can visit our website, www.coastalcooking.com. I think our panini are ready. Oh, yeah. Those are looking Golden awesome. Golden brown? Look at that. And we're just going to slice these real quick. And there you go. Oh, There's very the nice, the Matt. Mm-hmm. Stone fruit. Oh. There you go. Beautiful. And our frittata's yep. ready. The Look at this. The frittata is now finished. This came out amazing. A little size is about how we serve them at the Leisure mm -hmm. Club. <laughs> Get that out of there. Our garden frittata. Uh, Perfect. Look go. how, oh, what a great brunch or breakfast mm -hmm. dish. I love yeah. it. I love everything. I can't wait to dig in. And at this. Leisure Club, you would get it. You can get a side of chips, or we do mm -hmm. a ginger slaw, or you can add a fruit cup. Oh. Sometimes we do special salads. We had a, like a watermelon feta salad the other day you could get as a side. So we're always. Coming up to keep something. It new and fresh. That's right. You and your wife, Lee, who's yep, your partner. Me and Lee. I couldn't do it without Lee <laughs> and all my awesome employees. That's right. And you create so, all these great dishes. Mm -hmm. A lot of them came. I mean, we've had some of these recipes around for a while, and I've come up with some new ones. So Great. Well, yeah. let's tell our viewers again where you're located in your hours. We are, it's 115 Office Woods Drive. Mm -hmm. It's going to be right behind. Best thing is just to pull in the bonefish, and you'll see the big yellow coffee sign it says coffee bar and then uh, that is the leisure club right off 12th avenue so and your hours are tuesday um, through sunday yep. tuesday through sunday um tuesday through friday is seven to five and then the weekend is nine to four perfect brunch. well we want all our viewers to come out and sample these dishes and much more on your menu mm -hmm. well thank you so yep. much for being our offer. Our guest, you did a great job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this was so much fun. And I, like I said, I can't wait to dig in. Mm -hmm. That's the perk of this yeah, job, right? I can't wait to eat that right there. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for joining us. And we'll be back next Sunday with more Coastal Cooking. This has been Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, provider of clean, efficient, natural gas. Join us each Sunday at 6 p.m. for more Coastal Cooking.